I don't know how else to say this really, but it's been a pretty interesting Christmas. Um, for those of you guys that haven't heard yet, my girlfriend Kenzie and I, um, we broke up. <sighs> this is a tough video to make. Not before I got her knocked up. It's definitely quite the eventful holiday. You know, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna figure it out, but you know, I figured we're vlogging now, so we might as well just vlog everything with my life. Uh, Cause you guys are watching it all happen. You know, I ended up getting some clips of everything happening, so I'm out here doing what I can. Uh, I'm really, really counting on you guys. We got a bunch of people watching us now. We're growing really, really fast. Every single day that we put one of these vlogs out, we're getting tons of more people subscribing and following across all the platforms, so you guys are awesome. But uh, if you guys haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Drop a thumbs up on this video. I guess just roll the clips. Hey buddy, I got a gift that I forgot to give you the other day for Christmas. You did? Yep. Go ahead and open it. What do you think it is? <laughs> Just get some moves. Well, let's, I mean, it could be anything in there. It could be that Next ring. Bucks game for you? It could be that ring you've been wanting. Never know what it is. <laughs> you've been talking about how you wanted to get knocked up. <laughs> You know, it's only been about 15 years since this movie came out. I guess it's better late than never to get it for you, though, right? Congrats on getting knocked up. Oh, while I got you here, there's also something else I've been wanting to talk to you about. Um, you know, I, I just, I just want to break up. What? Can we, I'm just, can we break up? I've just been thinking for a while, and I want to break up. You actually thought that I knocked her up for real? You thought that we're having a kid? But I got you on a play on words. You fell for my joke because it was super funny and super, I almost said relatable, probably isn't, it might be relatable for some people watching. You thought I was just gonna be serious with you and not have a play on words there? <laughs> oh, do you get it? Because the movie's name was Knocked Up and then I said that I got her knocked up, which I, I got her the movie knocked up for Christmas. But it, do, you, do you get it? Do you understand it? And then the fact that we broke up afterwards, like, do, do you understand? Because the movie's name was up and then we broke up. We like broke it. We, we completely broke the disc. We destroyed it. Truly hysterical. That's genius A plus comedy right there, Zach. I'll give you a pat on the back, kiddo. But it is 5.30 and I just now am pretty much making this whole vlog for the day, just right now. It does, may not look like I haven't been doing anything today, but I've been scripting because that's what a good comedy actor does. He has a script. I've been writing pages all morning about what we're gonna do in today's vlog. We've gotten five pages here. We got some big things on the list here, like the stimulus bill, the AT&T building bombing, uh, some other stuff, but nothing is more important than the Jets not getting Trevor Lawrence. The Jets are such a bad football team, they can't even tank their season the right way. It's like they're out here on a two-win streak. They're no longer getting the first-round pick. Jacksonville's got that locked in now. They're getting Trevor Lawrence. I tell you what, Jacksonville is going to be a dangerous squad next year. They're going to get Trevor Lawrence. That team's just going to be stacked. They're going to completely make a turnaround like the Browns did. I mean, kind of. Baker Mayfield's a little overrated, but they've at least made a turnaround. I mean, the Jets could have literally, like, had it all. They were talking about trading for Ezekiel Elliott, uh, because I guess they got, like, the salary cap for the $10 million that Zeke's going to require. And, uh, yeah, can you imagine that backfield? Ezekiel Elliott with Trevor Lawrence? It's like, Jets would be a dangerous squad next year. <laughs> I hate to say it. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't sound right coming out of my mouth, but the Jets could have been a solid squad next year. Now that they just have to keep winning games, which... 
in most cases is a good thing, but when you already have a losing season and you're that bad, as bad as the Jets are, you gotta tank the rest of the way to get the number one overall pick so you can get a once in a generation player. That is if he comes out of college. I imagine he's gonna come out because look at the bag the guy's gonna get. And then we got the next stimulus package. This is a big deal because um, we've been in quarantine forever. People are losing their jobs. Businesses are getting shut down. Nobody has money. Just a ton of stuff happening with that all throughout 2020 here. Thank God the year's almost over, right? I mean, we only got a couple days left. But this stimulus bill, I took it upon myself to go through, do some research on it, uh, just basically to cap check everything that's going on with it because people are saying that all this money is getting sent overseas and it's not going to the right places. So I'm going to list everything here of what is actually included in this stimulus package bill. I'm going to break down the price for you. Here on the $900 billion stimulus package, we have $82 billion going for education, $7 billion going for expanding access to high-speed internet across the country because apparently everybody doesn't have high-speed internet. I thought dial-up went away in 2001. $285 billion is going for additional loans for small businesses. $70 billion is going for funding medical research in nursing homes. $10 billion is going for child care. $25 billion is going for rental assistance. Then we have $13 billion going for food security. And then let's say 100 million people in the United States qualify to get the extra $300 a week from the federal government. That's going to cost another $30 billion a week per week. And this is going to carry on for three months. So that's going to be $330 billion from this package just going to that. And then if we assume that 250 million people in the United States are going to get the $600 bonus, that's going to be another $150 billion from this package going back to people. When you actually add all this stuff up, that package is going to cost $962 billion of what's just staying in the United States. I'm not going to lie, when I first heard about all this stuff, I was thinking that it doesn't make sense. Why are we sending tons of money overseas to do all this and that? And and it's, it's just not true. Predominantly, it's staying right here within the United States. They're giving a ton of money to businesses, tons of stuff that um, is needed. The only problem I kind of have with it is that the money that's going to be going for like the medical research and um, the food banks, the child care, the high speed internet, stuff like that, they're going to be paying that money towards Fortune 500 companies that are already making stupid amounts of money. But I do like the fact that they're adding in another $285 billion for small business loans. I think that's to kind of accommodate that because they're giving roughly the same amount uh, for research and funding to big corporations. So small, that's gonna help small businesses a lot. How about Dwayne Haskins? I can't, I should have brought this up when we were talking about NFL a minute ago. This literally just happened like one hour before I started this vlog. I can't, I can't even believe I didn't bring this up. Dwayne Haskins, the quarterback on the Redskins, the former Ohio State scrub, just finally got released. Now, this is excellent news for me as a Michigan fan because, first of all, Ohio State is trash. And second of all, that just proves Ohio State cannot produce any solid talent for the NFL when it comes to quarterbacks. Like, every quarterback that's came into the NFL over the past... Oh God, what would it be? Probably 15 years at least is complete garbage. I mean, I'll tip my hat to them. They've created a couple decent, solid running backs. I mean, I guess a couple wide receivers, but quarterback position, no, they suck. Because he's not even the best quarterback on the team anyway. I mean, Alex Smith is significantly better, knows how to play the game way better, way smarter. I mean, the guy doesn't have to go for any long bombs. He'll just check it down all day to his slot receivers and his tight end. He don't care. The guy's smart. He should be the starter anyway. Dwayne Haskins should have never even got any gameplay to begin with. LeBron James' son, Bronny, kid's like what, 16, 17 years old? Jumping in Scottie Pippen's wife's DMs. And I guess he's over there making a little bit of noise. So now we got LeBron James on Twitter saying that Scottie Pippen's just messed up. And it's just absolutely brilliant. I love it because it's drama that is just absolutely hysterical to me because the kid's like 17 years old and he's jumping into like some 60 year old woman's DMs. And oh, it's just fantastic. I don't know why it hasn't been addressed sooner. I'm just out here doing what I can with what I got, but. Olive Garden, it's just it's just not as good as everybody thinks. You know, solid restaurant. Would I eat it in a pinch? I mean, of course, they got some okay Alfredo sauce and their breadsticks, I guess, come in clutch when you dip them in the Alfredo sauce. But they're just not as good as everybody says. You know what I mean? Everybody growing up as a kid or some chicks out there nowadays that still go crazy over that place, they, they just think that is godsend. Like, it's the best restaurant in the world. And 
I just feel like I have to be the guy to clear the air here that Olive Garden is just not that good. Sorry to tell you, Tuts. And a little bit of Motivational Monday for you guys. Don't ever let anybody treat you like the yellow starburst. You're a pink starburst. Has anybody ever said, yeah, I'll take a yellow starburst? Like if you've got a, like a candy dish at your grandma's house, right? Are you reaching your hand in there and grabbing a yellow starburst out? Absolutely not. That never happened in the history of candy anywhere. Good evening, friends. I was just re-watching that clip that I put in the beginning of this vlog, and I was thinking to myself, you know what? I'm fast as fuck. And that got me thinking, the other day I said in one of my vlogs that I'm fast as fuck. But how fast really is fuck? How fast is fuck? Fuck is the most versatile method of measurement used in the world. And my hope for today is that we can get a clear understanding of just how much a measurement of fuck really is. So a fuck ton, not to be confused with a shit ton, can both be agreed upon in the metric and standard formats. From a few fucks given all the way up to the famous statement, a fuck ton, can be universally agreed upon that this is a unit of measurement. So we're going to have to do a little bit of math here to figure out just how much a measurement of fuck actually is. Dictionary.com defines fast as being able to move, operate, function, or take effect quickly, which means fuck must be a verb. Dictionary.com defines fuck as having sexual intercourse or to treat unfairly or harshly, usually followed up with over, or in other terms, fucked over. But we know in order for something to be considered a unit of measurement, it has to follow a few base principles of magnitude and quantity. Measurements must be a magnitude or quantity. So traditionally, measurements are going to explain the magnitude or quantity of said thing. For example, length or weight. So how do we figure out the characteristics associated with fuck? The answer is similes. So what are some similes of fuck? Would include bang, shag, screw, mate, hump. So those similes are just a few things we can pull some characteristics out of for the word fuck. But we know what fuck means with the context it's displayed with. For example, wholesome as fuck, dumb as fuck, smart as fuck, cool as fuck, toxic as fuck. Which brings us to our next point. Fuck must be an expression of emphasis that's a verb. Fuck also equals emphasis of emotion. Don't even get me fucking started on fuck. It's also universally known that a shit ton is a unit of measurement also for an emphasis of emotion. So we can pull the same characteristics from that statement and apply it to a fuck ton as well. Which brings us back to our other point that fuck is an emphasis for quantity. So fuck also must be an emphasis for quantity. And if we want to tune it down a little bit and not be so disrespectful, we say the phrase butt ton. So butt ton is the PG version of fuck ton, which would make the PG-13 version of a butt ton a fuck ton. This is where the math's going to get good. And a fun fact, if you didn't know this, a butt ton is already a universally used unit of measurement for gallons. So a butt ton equals 126 gallons. So if a butt ton is 126 U.S. gallons, and the PG-13 version of a butt ton is a fuck ton, then we need to take 126 and multiply that out by 13, which will give us 1,638. Now, in order to isolate the word fuck from the phrase fuck ton, we need to divide out the ton out of the equation so we can isolate fuck by itself. One ton would equal 2,000. So what we need to do is 1638 divided by 2000, which will give us 0 0.819. In order to go back through and complete our equation and check our work, we have to figure out what the value of fast is. And we already know that in the statement, fast as fuck, the as in the center here is the same thing as an equal sign. So that must mean fast equals fuck. So what are some things that are fast? Cheetahs are fast. Usain Bolt's fast. Elevators are fast. Light is fast. Uh, drag race car? Drag race cars are fast. So, okay, drag race cars. 
On May 18th through May 21st, 2018, at the Heartland Motorsport Park racing event, driver Steve Torrance cleared the first 60 feet of his race against Brittany Force with a time of, you guessed it, 0.819 seconds, which will allow us to conclude that fast also must equal 0.819. Now, we can blow this up one step further. The light that comes from the stars in the universe takes thousands of years to reach Earth. So if it's taking a long time to get to us, the light we're seeing is actually from thousands of years ago, which would make it past tense. And in order to make an adjective or a verb past tense, we must add ed to the end which directly means that we can now conclude that the universe is fucked. The universe is fucked. Or if we want to write this out the scientific way, fast equals fuck equals universe. Thank you, that is all. Come on, Zach, you gotta be a little bit better at vlogging. Forgot to say it, guys. Make sure you like this video. Hit that subscribe button. We got vlogs coming every day of the week. Anyways, bye. Yeah.